you're using that address for shipping illegal shit and all that. But outside of that, you telling someone, hey, you can use my address, it's not illegal. <laughs> I mean, there's no legality, there's nothing there. The person's not responsible for any of that, right? It's like when someone goes to, um, let's say you want to rent an Airbnb for a month or two months. You're going to have your mail go there or whatever, you're going to change your address to that address. What, now the person, you're going to take the person to court because you rented out of space or you allow someone to um use the address? How about the post office? They allow you to get a post office there. Do you sue the post office for them allowing you to have a mailbox there? How about all those shipping companies like the UPS store that rents out, right? boxes and you can use their address what are you going to sue the ups store like wait 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 does it stop right so the mere fact that um he even threw that out there come on it was no brainer but we, we we threw out a counter um as a, just in case right so at the end do not be afraid of the dodo bird see this is the dodo bird right now he's all fucked up all shambles and all that hairs missing large fucking forehead can't do nothing with his life lost everything even friends are backstabbing him. He has no idea, okay? So, he's nothing. So, Toto Bird, let me just say this, bitch. When they hear about you, they think about a bird like this. See that bird? That's a balding, big forehead bird. That's what they think about you, right? When someone hears about infidelity in the group or cheating, Toto Bird comes to mind, right? Someone is a loser, a pathetic bum, Toto Bird comes to mind, right? A lying, a manipulative bitch, Toto Bird comes to mind, right? Everything that's negative and, and foul, you come to mind. I mean, now you even come to mind in the sense that all you did was look at someone's penis for over an hour. Looking at this man's dick. And male birds do not have penis. Were you jealous? Do you want a penis? <laughs> I mean, it's ironic that you picked a bird. A no penis motherfucker. I mean, that's what you did, right? You did that. You picked a bird. A male bird, right? And you're balding. <laughs> Your hair is it, it, going away. And let me ask you, when you look in the mirror, like, how many strands of hair do you need to manipulate to cover the front of your hair? Because you tried that. Right? <laughs> it didn't work out. It didn't work out. <laughs> so, see, at the end, Bird, you see, um, all you can do is put a picture of a clown. <laughs> That's it. So when you tell your neighbors and all that, you know what they're going to be thinking? Of a clown face. But when we mention you, they know your face. They could tie you to all these things that you, you could never run away from. Even down to being in the police and they have to put a fucking spit gag on you. That shows how much of a dog you are. That they have to fucking put a spit mask on you because you were probably spitting like the pig that you are. That's why they put a spit mask on people, right? Because they're spitting. Because you're, 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 you're an animal like that. You are an animal. And right now, this is how you look. This bird, this balding bird. This, I mean, that's it. Your hair is falling apart. You want to fucking court with your nails dirty a bummy ass jacket and, and all you do is come out and and, and and have these delusions of grandeur that you're some type of advocate when you have no certificate in it none you think you are something but you you aren't anything i mean look around you you're laughing stuck you are actually people are laughing at you trust that they're laughing at you you're bum so what are you going to do huh nothing but take what we give you bitch take it that's it take it you fucking dog like that you have to take it. That's it. So, going after people, not going to stop us. Our supporters, though, we told them, it's a price to pay for supporting us, but we will be there to support you and fight by your side. But we will never stop going after someone simply because they're being attacked. That we cannot do. We do not negotiate with fucking terrorists, right? So, let me add this to all of you. Be very careful about joining a group to go and attack one of our supporters because the mere fact of you participating in a group attack, that is considered a bully. That's, that is a bully tactic and you will be exposed as such. All right? It, uh, that, I mean, it's really that simple. We don't care if you have one-on-ones, you know, we don't get involved in all that. You can see people are going back and forth for hug and sweet and, and everyone else. We don't get involved in those one-on-ones, right? But when you start to pack up as a group, then we have a problem, right? But, so, what, what are you going to do? At the end, Doodle Bird, everything that we have submitted, everything that we produced, had nothing to do with the supporters. It had to do with you. You cheated on your wife. You lost your business. You um, endangered an animal. Cruelty. Pulled out the fucking teeth with no anesthetic, no type of fucking antibiotics, nothing. Like a fucking dog. You shoved a fucking damn uh, 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 toilet bowl brush in the mouth to hope it open. That is what you did. You did that. Okay? You went out and threatened people. You did that. You threatened to kill a dog. You threatened to kill a person. 
yeah, well, this time I'm saying it for real, for real. Like, if your dog winds up in my yard, first definition, not second definition. Okay, I'm not talking about moving it rapidly in a different direction this time. Okay, I'm talking about dispatching it to death. Okay, if that dog's in my yard, it's done. It's done, Shiva. You won't be able to pull out no more peanut butter. There won't be any more dog licking your balls, Shiva, because that dog will be buried in my backyard underneath the chicken coop. You threaten everyone. You even came out and cheated on your wife again, a third time, telling her I am in love with somebody else. And I think to some degree, you know, after fucking being with someone for, you know, damn near 20 years, damn near 20 years, 16 married, that flame's bound to fucking die. It's bound to fucking die out. And me and my wife have had some very serious conversations over the last, you know, few days, over the last few months about these scenarios and about the fact that again, I found myself in a situation to where I've become emotionally connected and intimately involved with a person that's not her. And it breaks her fucking heart, dude. It breaks her fucking heart. The supporters didn't do that. You did that. All of you, you manipulated the truth. You doctored evidence. You doctored 911 calls. You did it all. You misidentified someone in New York. You put that man's life in danger. You did that. No one else. The only thing that you probably didn't have control over is your bolding. <laughs> And you not have your penis. That's it. That's that. <laughs> that's the only thing you had no control over. Sorry, but you know, that's danger. <laughs> we can't get we can fuck with that. So all that you did, you were fucking around with a with Beanie and told you in your face. She never was even into you. Especially since you knew that I was having marital problems. I would say that you would absolutely know. In fact, actually, if we want to get into this, should we, should we bring, should we bring other people into it? I will. Or I'll is tell your you wife in your videos? Oh yeah, no, yeah. I don't so, think so. so. I'll, I'll tell you. I'll tell you what, Bean. I'm gonna make this so easy. You're the one. You're not gonna be able to pull your bullshit. You're, you're the not gonna try to push your false narratives. You're not gonna be able to pull, push your false narratives, dude. And your fucking little fucking you're shit thing was up a long time ago. Narrative bird, and you love to threaten women. You do. Oh yeah, yeah. I threaten women all the time. That's what yeah, I do. Yeah, I'm gonna game. sue you, Beanie. I'm gonna sue you. No, I, I didn't say I was gonna sue. I said that you were likely to wind up in a jail cell for what you did. What did I do? perfect bean what did you do i didn't do a damn thing i advise you not to whip your shit out at any I woman i advise you not to uh i advise you, you not to lure married an men into in your you. do not to lure married an men into in your do not to lure married men into your do not to lure married men into your even have to see your penis the girl if you had a nice size penis a girl would be like, uh, maybe, maybe, okay? But she was like, uh, no, uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> see, see, she saw right through that fake penis that you had on your fucking neck that you strapped on. She saw the fake. Birds don't have penises. She saw straight through it. She knew that was a fake penis. So what are you going to do now? Go to your drinking again? Do the all the Akbar bullshit? <laughs> Threaten. That's all you can do? But you're not going to get back everything you lost. For thousands of dollars in minutes spending on us. Talk about homage. <laughs> People look at all everybody's um videos. Clowns are everywhere. We have infiltrated everyone. Everyone. But you're saying we do nothing. But we have. And we will continue to do it. So Dodo Bird, you have empty threats. You're a loser. You are a bum. A bum. I mean, that's it. Everything about you is bummy. Bummy. And at the end, everyone knows how you look. So remember this, people. This is the Dodo Bird. This is who he truly is behind that fucking fake facade that he puts up. He's a fucking wrinkled, bald, disgusting animal. That is the true bird. So when you see and hear that annoying fucking animal, just picture this. The bark, all he's doing, all that threat, and all that, that's nothing. Picture this picture right here. This is the real bird. We've demonstrated it over and over again. This is who he is. That's it. That's why his life, that's why his wife left him. That's why everyone left his ass. I mean, even fucking up Stephanus fucked him over with um, ASMR. I mean, the run around suit with the fucking internet. I mean, he lost everything. He is useless. A bum. A no one. 
there will never be anything. So, people, remember, we've given you so much ammunition on this piece of shit, right? So, if he attacks you, just bring up. That's why you cheated on your wife three times. That's why you lost your company, because you're fucking bum. Is that why you're balding? Is that why you have no fucking penis? Is that why you're an animal abuser? Is that why you're a lowlife? Did you go to the green list to clean your fucking jacket? I mean, there's, there's so much we gave you that you don't really have to entertain his stupidity. Just throw it back at him. Throw back what we have given you as facts. You know, things he has done. Throw it into his face. Every time he says something, at least I didn't cheat on my wife three times and you care about your kids. At least I didn't cheat on my wife three times. That's how you care about your kids? Just keep throwing it back. He's gonna deviate. He's gonna throw in a family member. He's gonna, he's gonna do whatever he can to get you to go to a different course. Stay on course. Keep repeating it so everyone can hear and everyone can register that he cheated on his wife three fucking times. How does he love his kids? By cheating three times? That he was killing her. Yet he still did it again. And he calls you a pedophile. Oh, really? Weren't you the one that had your best friend's kids abducted by the city? Right? Aren't you the one that did that? I think you're the one that had the kids taken. Then he's gonna go off on a tangent and you're like, no, 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 no. Why did you have his kids taken? No, 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 no. Why did you? And he stay on target. Drill it in. Remind him of the piece of shit he is. That's it. This is Bird right here. This is who he really is. Nothing more. Nothing less. That is the true Bird. Peeled away. Done. He is done. Piece of shit garbage. So now, um, yeah, what are you going to do on, on now, Don, Donald Bird? Because at the end, we're going to advise all of you. He takes you to court, counter sue. Counter sue him. Defamation, whatever. Counter sue him. And counter sue him for the time that he has taken up because of his frivolous lawsuit. So, time off of work, just time, energy, emotional damage, whatever you want to put up there. But if he's going to take you to court for frivolous things, counter sue him. Put a counter suit. Because at the end, when they say no, you have no legitimate reason for bringing this person to court you will automatically win. Because they will see that what he did was for malicious reasons. No more. So once you go to court and sue for malicious reasons, you lose. You lose. So counter sue. Automatic counter sue. He puts, serves you paper, turn around, serve the papers. That, that's it. There's a, there's a nice, nice revolving door there. That's what we're telling you. That's what we're advising all of you. Remember that. Do not allow this, this, look at this bird, to intimidate training over. We've broken him down. We stripped him. And now we lay to you what the true bird looks like right there that's birdie as he says the itty bitty birdie no penis big forehead no hair this is the bird <laughs>